Hi, welcome along. Today we're going to install a simple battery system on our tinny. We've got our battery, which we've selected from the chop chart, that will start our 100 horsepower Honda on the back. We've got our battery box, we've got our terminals on the batteries, and then we've got our wiring. Now we've got a positive wire that is going to come from the battery with an inline fuse running to our battery switch which is going to be located up underneath and then we've got our two lots of wiring that are running up the boat. Our positive that will come from our battery switch and up and we've got our black negative wire that is going to run directly from the negative on the battery all the way up the boat to the negative common up the front. Now that's the basic system. We're now going to go through step by step of how to do this in your boat and where to position all this product. So you've got to find a home for your battery. Usually you have it in the middle at the back, high up in a dry place. In the blue fin we've got a perfect place down here. I'm going to pop it in a battery box and it's going to be nice and dry. Right, we've got the battery all in location. Now what we've got to do is work out where we're going to put our battery isolation switch. It's got to be in a dry place, out of the way. So we've got a piece of marine ply that we've put up here so we're not drilling through the aluminium. And we'll locate it up there. Once we've got it in, we need to measure our cables and we need three cable measurements. We need to measure the positive coming off the battery up and through here and into our battery switch. We also need to measure the positive wire coming out, running all the way up to the front to the buzz bars. And then we need a negative cable running all the way up to the buzz bars at the front as well. So three cables, that's what we're going to do next. Okay, we've done our cable measurements and we have crimped on our lugs, put our heat shrink on and we're ready to install our battery switch. Just a couple of safety tips with electrical wiring. With this we're going to do all our wiring and the last thing we're going to do is then attach it to the battery. When you do attach it to the battery, if you've got any stray wires lying around, what you should do is tape them with insulation tape just in case a positive and a negative touch each other accidentally and create an arc. Right, cables are run. Before I connect this onto the battery, I'm going to make sure my isolating switch is off. So, we'll turn that off and now I can connect to the battery. Last couple of uh, finishing touches is tucking all these cables away with cable ties so it looks nice and neat and no one's going to get tangled and just on the battery terminals salt is pretty corrosive so we can use soft seal and just a light spray of this is going to keep out moisture and it's going to keep these terminals looking a lot better for a lot longer. <laughs> 